Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I feel extremely excited because I'm going to show you a new release from Chanel and these are their new reformulated lipsticks. These are the Rouge Allure Ink Fusion lipsticks and these are different than the old Rouge Allure Ink liquid lipsticks because this is a new reformulated version of the lipsticks that are supposed to be a lot more long-lasting, waterproof and they are supposed to feel like second skin and Chanel have released also new shades from this lipstick. Some of the shades that Chanel have released are limited edition, so they are not going to be available all the time. Today I'm going to show you four swatches on my hand and on my lips. I'm going to show you swatches in natural daylight and I'm also going to show you some other swatches that I did in the store. So each of these lipsticks retail for 38 US dollars, which is the standard price for a Chanel lipstick. I really like the new formulation and I would highly encourage you to try these lipsticks because they feel like nothing on the skin. They are very different than um, the other lipsticks. They feel extremely lightweight. The matte lipsticks feel extremely lightweight. They feel like you are applying water on your lips. You can build up the color as much as you want and you can make it really intense. And they are very long lasting. Also, what's interesting is that the matte colors do not transfer. And the lipsticks that have metallic finish, they do transfer a little bit and they don't dry down completely. So there is always a little bit of a slip and they remain a little bit more emollient. So there is a little bit of a transfer with the metallic shades. So let's go ahead and try all the colors now and I'm going to start with the metallic shades because I'm really interested to try them. So the first color that you see right now is 202. This is metallic beige and I think this is going to be very beautiful as a topper. So this color catches the light beautifully and the reason why I decided to get this color is actually because it reminds me of a beautiful summer sunset. Next comes 204 and this is metallic bronze and I think this color again reminds me of those long hot summer days and bronzy makeup looks. This is number 804 Mauve Nude. And I must say that the matte colors actually they feel like water on the lips and it dries down completely into a very extremely matte color, but without feeling heavy or without feeling drying on the lips. And this color is very, very buildable. You can build it up as much as you want until you reach the desired color. And here comes metallic red, and this is 208. And I have to say that I was expecting this color to be a lot more metallic, a lot shinier, but Typical for Chanel, this is very, very subtle. All the colors are very wearable, very subtle and very sophisticated. So it's really easy to wear this metallic red color. I was thinking that this was going to be very, very extravagant, but actually it's not. And in real life, I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and it's very, very wearable. It's not shiny at all. It does have a little bit of shine going on. It does have a little bit of that metallic... Um, sheen but it's not really shine I would say that it's more of a luminosity it's definitely not shine it's definitely nothing that you can't wear so I would say that the beige and the bronzy color are a lot shinier and they look a lot more metallic than the red color but the red color is really very very wearable very easy to wear and the last color that i'm showing you today on my lips is 818 true red and this is a true red color this is a very very beautiful classic red color for anyone who loves red color i think this is absolutely beautiful because it is matte but it doesn't feel drying on the lips and you can build up the color as much as you want and I am in love with this new formula. Definitely this is something that I would highly encourage you to try. So this is how it looks on my hand.
And now you can see all the colors in natural daylight. I don't have my lights on and the weather today is... It's a nice weather. It's not too sunny and it's not cloudy really, but the weather is still fine. So the colors that you see now from left to right are 202, 204, 208, 804 and 818. And I tried filming in different angles so that you can see how the colors change. So the lipsticks with the matte finish remind me a lot of a YSL lipstick and this is the Tatouage Couture by YSL. They have the same consistency. They feel very lightweight on the skin. They feel like nothing on the skin. I have a full review of these lipsticks as well. Um, and they, they feel like nothing on the lips. So this is Tatouage Couture by YSL. They feel like nothing on the lips, they dry completely and they don't transfer. Now the only difference between these uh, the, and the new Rouchelure Ink Fusion lipstick is that the Chanel lipstick remi remains a little bit more velvety. It feels a little bit more velvety, whereas the YSL lipstick, it doesn't have that velvety finish. It just dries down completely, but it doesn't have that velvety finish. And also, as you can see, the applicators are different. So I generally prefer the applicator of YSL because it's very, very sharp and it works as a lip liner. However, I don't have any issues applying the lipstick and not using lip liner. I can apply Chanel's lipstick without using a lip liner and today as you can see i i didn't use a lip liner and i didn't have any problems applying the lipstick so it's very very easy to apply both of these lipsticks so bottom line i really like this new release from chanel i would highly encourage you to try these lipsticks because they feel amazing they feel like nothing on the lips Okay, and now just for the sake of the experiment, I want to see what's gonna happen if I put a little bit of... Right now I'm wearing True Red, which is the matte red lipstick. This is 818. And I want to see what's going to happen if I apply a little bit from the metallic beige color. But I'm probably going to use my fingertips to not mess up with the wand here. So I just want to see if I can layer these colors Okay, so you can definitely layer the colors. I don't know if this combination is something that I like. I probably don't like this combination, the, the red lipstick and um, the metallic beige. You can layer these colors. Definitely you can layer these colors. You just have to choose the right color combination. So that was all for today's video. Please don't forget to take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to leave me a comment. Share with me what's your favorite liquid matte lipstick. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!